All right, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Super here, and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat One video. Hold on. Let's hear this again. <clears throat> Mega stars like me need round the clock protection. I can't think of a more thankless task. All right, so that's the intro, at least one of the intros for Lee May versus Johnny Cage. Um, but welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 1 video. This is some of the footage uh, that I recorded during EVO. Again, thank you for letting me record this early access gameplay to WB Games and NetherRealm Studio. It was an honor, especially the fact that I got to sit down with uh, Paula Garcia, who is the main man when it comes to the gameplay for this game. So I got a... a Nice chat with him to talk about the movement, the speed of the game, some of the improvements, what their thought process is when it comes to working on the game, listening to fan feedback, etc. So I'm here to talk about that because I uploaded the raw gameplay and I asked you guys to ask questions, anything that you want in the comment section. And if I know something about it, then I'll reply to or make a reply in a video or answer it in a video. So. Leave a like on the video for the early access to playing some Johnny Cage and Lee May exclusive for our YouTube channel. Uh, unfortunately, the, the raw video got age restricted, which I knew was going to happen because I didn't censor out the fatalities. But I just wanted to show off the raw gameplay the way the way it's supposed to be, um, because, yeah, I'm going to have to censor all that stuff when I actually get to play the game normally. That's why I don't do fatalities. I, I want to do some more because I know people like watching them, but I can't show them because then I'll get age restricted. And what that means is you have to be 18 and over to actually watch the video. And then the video is not able to make money anymore, pretty much. <clears throat> and this is my job. So, you know, I got to make that cash. All right. So here we go. I'm just gonna answer some of these questions that people were asking about the game. So the number one most asked question is what is the clicking noise that is uh, that you could hear during the gameplay? And that clicking noise is pretty much an accessibility tool for players who are blind or players who uh, are have vision impairment. Um, so if you can't see what's going on in the game or you can't see it as well as some other people, the clicking noise actually allows you to still play the game and know where you are, where you are at compared to where your opponent's at, and it just makes it a lot easier for players with, um, you know, vision impairment to actually play the game and have fun and enjoy it the way it's meant to be. So I'm really happy that this was the setting was turned on because I saw a lot of people in the comment section that are blind players that were, uh, you know, very, very happy that this is a feature included in Mortal Kombat 1 because this feature was a big deal when it was included in, in Street Fighter 6 and all of us were hoping that they would have tools for players with, uh, you know, blind players and players with uh, vision impairment to know where they're where they're at in the game a lot easier than games like MK11, games like MKX, um, where this wasn't a thing yet. So I'm happy Another Realm stepped it up and added these features. So that's what the clicking noises is uh, all about. Uh, obviously, you could turn off the setting whenever you play the game. All right, so <clears throat> people were also asking me if this game is easy to pick up compared to MK11. And I think MK11 is a lot easier to pick up because you don't have to worry about the cameo system. Uh, even if you play this game, right, and you're not used to the cameo system yet, you really don't need it. But using the cameos is going to grant you... Watch this combo. Oh, yeah, that's me, by the way. <laughs> so... Using the cameos is going to give you the best potential to um, for your character because the cameos are there just to help your character out on offense, on defense, and if you're not playing with your cameo, you're missing out on a big portion of how the game is supposed to be played. But that doesn't mean that you can't only use your character if you don't if you don't want to use a cameo. Um, at first, but I definitely think that the cameo system makes the game harder at face value. You know, once you first touch it, 
Then a game like Mortal Kombat 11 where everything is pretty pretty straightforward. Like once you play it for about 20 minutes, you'll understand what the game is all about. This game, even after playing the stress test for about three days, I was still like, man, there's just so much that I haven't learned yet. And I have so much to learn. So it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult for some players to pick up. So yeah, this game, Mortal Kombat 1 is harder to pick up than MK11. Uh, people are asking if you could actually change your control settings because you weren't able to do that during the uh, stress test. And yes, there's actually, at some point in this video, I changed my uh, controller settings to turn off uh, release check and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I'm definitely going to be putting my throw on R1 because that's how I've always thrown in Mortal Kombat games. And I'm going to put my cameo assist on L1. That's just how I already know that's how I'm going to have my settings because I'm just so used to grabbing with R1. There's many times throughout the course of the stress test where I just I kept using my cameo in front of my opponent's face because I wanted to throw them. But my R1 button was linked to my cameo. So yeah, you will be able to change your control settings to whatever you want. <clears throat> Uh, next question, obviously, was if Johnny Cage... Well, not obviously, but <laughs> the next question that I have written down here is people were asking if Johnny Cage's fatality is a throwback to Cassie, his daughter. And yes, it actually is. I, I asked Paulo if it's a little throwback, and he said, yeah. So, well, I guess I said, oh, a nice um, throwback to Cassie. And then he said, yeah. But obviously, you could tell the inspiration for Johnny Cage's fatality included with the selfie is the the part where it's you know a throwback and a nod to cassie cage oh here's an interesting question people are asking me will this be the closed beta build and yes this is actually going to be the version of mortal kombat 1 that you guys play and i play and everyone else plays during the closed beta so yes this is the build. You're going to have Frost, you're going to have Kano, Sonya, Jax as assist, as cameos. And then the, the playable characters are going to be the four that were in the stress test, which were Katana, Liu Kang, uh, who else was it? Sub-Zero, and who else was the last character? Oh, Kenshi. And then the two new characters are going to be Johnny Cage and Lee Mei. So, yeah, this is the build that we're going to be playing in about 10 days. Are you happy? Oh, this is a question I wrote down specifically. Are you happy with the improved speed to the game? Oh, hold on. Got to listen to the intro, right? Kano. The tea house. It'll be a Sundo set police drama. First constable. Earthrealmers are entertained by such drivel. Oh, he's describing what his movie's gonna be about. <laughs> All right, so are you happy with the improved speed to the game? Is what somebody asked me. I am very happy because although they increase the dash speed, what I'm happy that's included in the game is actually the dash blocking, being able to cancel your dash into a block is gonna be so useful and it's gonna make the gameplay a lot faster in general uh, because you're gonna be able to cancel your dash animation with your block. Um, that's pretty much what you did in MK11, that's pretty much what you did in MK9. Uh, so that alone right there is gonna be very useful because the game was incredibly slow and it felt incredibly slow during the stress test because you couldn't dash block um, so now I feel like the game's movement is good I I still feel like I I hope they improve I was talking to a foxy grandpa about this and it is a gray area because if you so my thing is I I kind of want to dash distance to be increased for every character because I still feel like you you can dash further like far enough there's some times where well, I guess I can't really compare the stress test to this because this is improved dash speed. 
Um, but there's times where I block something and my opponent is too far away, even though I dash forward and try to punish it. So my thing is, I really hope that they increase the dash distance because now with the increased dash speed and the fact that you could dash cancel, it don't make movement a lot faster. Um, and, but the reason I say it's a gray area is because, you know, not every character is going to get the same distance as some other characters. So characters, for example, like... Fujin and Kota Khan, some of these characters in MK11 have a huge advantage movement wise because their dash starts off really fast and it goes far and then once like it hits the end of the dash is when it slows down but that doesn't really matter because you could just dash cancel into a block and then just keep going with the dash so it's a gray area for sure um, but I you know I was I was honest. I told Foxy that if uh, the movement stays the way it is right now, and the fact that you can can cancel your dash from block, I'll be very happy. Uh, I'll be very happy because I feel like another reason why Mortal Kombat One fell so slow in the stress test is because some of the animations for cameos, for example, like if you guys remember when um, Kano, when you did a forward throw and you had Kano assist, he would take. So so long to get off the screen it was insane so things like that help the game be even slower than it already was um, and there's already been improvements to that there's a lot of animations that have been sped up already including Kano's forward throw so things like that is just gonna make the game faster just those improvements um, but as far as the movement I'm really happy with that they actually listened that they heard what we had to say they heard our criticism and they're they, they, they just want to make the game uh, like the best Mortal Kombat that they possibly can. All right, there I found out that Johnny Cage has a little stun combo where forward 3-4, if the second part hits, you could actually stun them. And then you could connect into a back 3 and then go into, I think his combo string is uh, forward 1-2 or forward 2-1. And then continue your combo from there. So I love learning this stuff, man. Uh, just like... Learning the game, I feel like, is the most fun part. See right there? and then, But I just didn't know what to follow it up with. But learning the game is just... That's the most fun part because you, you have no idea. Once you once you learn the game, you kind of go through the motion sometimes, depending on you know who you're fighting. Obviously, you still have to think about things. But you kind of know, okay, this is a strategy that I want to do with this character, etc. But learning the game, finding things out, is always fun. So... I am very happy with the change in speed of the dashes because they did increase the dash speed. Um, I asked Paulo, you know, what he thought about people's criticism or the dashes being so slow. And he did say that they increased the speed. Um, I also told him, or he also told me that, you know, they're like literally every day they're talking and thinking about ways to improve the game. So they hear our feedback. So for people who think that Netherrealm doesn't listen, I mean, perfect example of a lot of animations that were already changed. The dash speed increased. Um, Paulo told me that they're consistently thinking and working on improving the game in one way or another. So if the movement stays the same, as long as you can dash block, it's just gonna speed the game up so much more. Not only that, but I told I told them this specifically because I appreciate the fact that they put uh, dash blocking in because if you guys remember during the stress test, I kept trying to dash forward and block and it wasn't working because there, there was no dash blocking at the time. So I kept getting hit by projectiles. I'm like, why the hell am I getting hit by projectiles? I'm blocking. And it was obviously because there was no dash blocking. So I told them that I appreciate the change because now I could actually advance forward and not get hit by projectiles because I could dash block. So yes, I'm very happy that the game has changed for the better. All right, something else. Uh, the stance button actually does something because people uh, always ask, what, why the hell is there still a stance button in 2023 for a Mortal Kombat game? This time it actually does things. So I forgot something with Lee May changed with the stance button. I forgot what it was, or I think it might have been uh, something with the Frost cameo. But the example that I remember is uh, Johnny Cage has special moves, like the Nut Punch, for example, where 
if you do a nut punch and you hold it and you hold the, the stand switch button, it does a fake nut punch. So instead of uh, just ducking to avoid a projectile, which you guys saw at some point in this gameplay, if you guys go back, you guys will see what I'm talking about. It was in the tea house, but I was just asking Paulo to shoot a projectile so I could avoid it with the uh, fake out nut punch. And the way you do that is you do a nut punch and you hold the nut punch button, which I think in this case is back, back down one. So you hold that and then you press and hold the uh, stand switch button and he, uh, you know, brings down his glasses instead of actually doing a nut punch. So that's a way to get your hype meter up while at the same time avoiding a projectile. So yes, there's actually a good use for the stand switch button now. Alright, another question that I got asked a lot, could you change the music for stages? And so far, from what I know, the answer is no. You cannot switch what song you want to play they'll have that in the final build but as far as like what i saw that's that i'm pretty sure that's not an option uh, and the last question here somebody just wanted to know if lee may's uh low starter which is forward four three if it's a natural launcher natural combo launcher or if it's a counter hit launcher and the answer is it's a regular launcher there are no as far as i know there's no counter hit launchers like crushing blows uh, not specifically crushing blows, but like in Street Fighter, some properties change depending on counter hits. That doesn't exist in Mortal Kombat 1 as far as I know. Uh, the only thing that I know is specifically tied to like a punish is the new like down 2 mechanic where you hold up and you spend 2 bars of meter to uh, do a down 2 and follow it up with a jump so you could do an air combo. Uh, we couldn't get that to work for some reason, but oh this was cheap right here. Put the orb on screen, put the other orb on screen, shoot a projectile. That's going to be pretty fun to do. Just fill the screen up with shit. Um, people who get very impatient are going to have a hard time with some of those things. But no, um, Lee May's forward 4 3 combo is just a natural combo string. And obviously, you could combo into the frost, low, freeze, that one that just came on screen. You can do any sort of combo into the low freeze and then continue it with a jump in forward 4-3. Four, and then once you jump in the air, uh, I guess here's the combo that I was using. It was forward 4-3, four, you jump in the air, you do 1-3-4, and then you do her meter burn projectile, which is back forward 1. And then uh, it grants a combo extension in the air. I, just, I was just ending it with stand 4 into uh, down back 3, which was her flip kick so that's what i was doing that's like a nice bread and butter combo with lee may beginner bread and butter combo that's the johnny cage combo right there i was just trying to figure out how to do the um how to do the hype meter system once you got the highlight on you uh but i wasn't for some reason i just wasn't getting like back-to-back -back nut punches uh there was a problem with the controller i guess where back forward motions were a little bit were not coming out sometimes uh, so I kept doing Johnny's nut punch like once you're in the uh, In the hype meter in the hype mode where you have the spotlight on you All you have to do to continue your combo is press like nut punch back-to-back -back times like right there I press nut punch into the the dash and I would have been able to combo. I just didn't know what to do afterwards But the hype meter for Johnny Cage is where he's gonna shine but that's about it for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed uh, the Lee May and Johnny Cage gameplay. I can't wait for the beta, only 10 days away. I'm gonna, oh, nice, the video's about to finish. I'm going to, uh, oh, here we go. I'm going to uh, focus a lot on Lee May and Johnny Cage whenever the stress test, I mean, the, the beta comes out. Uh, I'll try to put as much time into Johnny probably first because I feel like he's the harder one to use. Um, but Lee May, she was a ton of fun. I'm really excited for you Lee May fans to try her out because she was a blast. Thank you all so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys next time.